Hey sis, I've been working on some exciting new research here that uh, conclusively explains why there's no evidence of Sasquatch ever found. It also explains some of the mysterious disappearances of uh, hikers and hunters out in the woods. Um, <clears throat> obviously what's going on here is that uh, Sasquatch is actually werewolves. So, Ken, we've explored the possibility that Sasquatch is actually alien, leprechaun, and meerkat. And um, now we can add werewolf to that list, but uh, I didn't hear you mention any evidence. Evidence? Well, I thought it was pretty self-explanatory. The lack of evidence itself is evidence that Sasquatch is, is a werewolf. When uh, Sasquatch dies, of course, he reverts back to human, so um, you're not going to find any Sasquatch bones. However, I do have some evidence here. As we know, um, all of the Sasquatch sightings do say that, that uh, Sasquatch has human features, right? So here you can see the werewolf Sasquatch does look human-like. It's got a human face. Um, it is hairy, um, and then it has big feet. So... You can clearly see Sasquatch is a werewolf. Well, that just causes me to wonder about one thing, like um, why would a mythical creature need to be two mythical creatures in one? Like, is it like a two for one deal or is it like, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Like one mythical creature at a time, otherwise it gets complicated. Actually, it's more efficient that way and less complicated. Do you really want to have to track two mythical creatures when you could just track one? It just seems to simplify the whole matter. I'm sure you've put my sketch artist rendering of where Sasquatch into our clue bag. But um, also, um, no one has ever found any physical evidence of werewolves. And uh, no one has ever found any physical evidence of Sasquatch either. Coincidence? I think not. That is completely made up. Ah, okay. Um, according to this chart that I just made up, it's only mostly made up.